I'm Christian Jorgensen. Uh, I am a rheumatologist and I, I am also a scientist. We are working with um, uh, magic cells, which are called uh, adult mesenchymal stem cells. And with these cells, we can build new tissue, new cartilage, and new um, organs uh, from the heart to um, uh, the bone and the cartilage. If you want to see how we are doing this, please follow me. Here is a lab where we are dealing with uh, mesenchymal stem cells and stem cell biology. So uh, this is done uh, within the Genostem European program. So here in Montpellier, we are using the bone marrow and the adipose-derived cells. But for example, in uh, uh, Porto, they are dealing with uh, scaffolds. Uh, in um, uh, Berlin, in Germany, uh, we will have the genetic analysis. And all these are partners from 11 countries in Europe are working on the same project with the same focus, trying to have the stem cells doing cartilage and implant these cells back to the patients. Regeneration takes place throughout life at different time points in the body. However, some tissue like cartilage do not heal spontaneously. This is why we want to use stem cells, mesenchymal stem cells, that can induce the regeneration of the tissue by differentiation into chondrocytes, the cells of the cartilage. Stem cells are defined by their property to divide, proliferate and differentiate into different cell types. We are interested in mesenchymal stem cells that are the capacity to differentiate into adipocytes, the cells of the adipose tissue, osteoblasts forming bone, and chondrocytes, the cells of the cartilage. What we want to do is to use the stem cells to repair the cartilage when this tissue is damaged in case of pathological situation. The way we want to do is to add the stem cells within a scaffold this scaffold will release a differentiation factor, a protein, that will induce the stem cells to differentiate into chondrocyte. What I mean, we take the stem cells, we add the protein that will give the signal to the cells to behave like we want and to become a chondrocyte. At the end, the scaffold will fill the defect and we will repair the cartilage tissue. The way we obtain differentiation in vitro in the lab, the way we do is to put the cells in a tube with the culture medium and the protein, the differentiation factor, that will induce the cells to differentiate into chondrocytes. We will do a centrifugation to form a pellet, put the cells in the incubator for three weeks, and after three weeks we will obtain a pellet forming cartilage. So here is the hospital where the clinical trials will be going on in the next year. I think that we will be able to offer new alternative therapies for more than 50 million patients in the European community suffering from rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, osteoporosis, and it's important to offer new alternative therapies for this disease with very high social impact.